All right, guys, we're going to be going over all three games from tonight. Start with the first game. Um, I feel like we did a really, had a really strong draft this game. Um, I'm not sure about the other team's uh, champion pools, but it just feel like we've done a good job of growing our champion pool. You guys did a good job, you know, before we even started growing your champion pools and just being flexible tonight. I did screw up the game two draft that was on me just because I got excited we never get to play Aurelia. So I'll make sure not to do that when we're going forward and not um, tunnel visioning on something, especially when we have the last pick in the phase where we can just ban out uh, strong champions versus it. So I'm just going to reiterate same thing. Uh, that we talked about earlier to Central and everyone, we want to try to ward at 50 seconds now. We warded late on both sides this game. And Central, you're going to be warding at 50, going back, getting a sweeper right away. So then um, after you do your first clear, and then if you're going to go into the river around 315, if you're not going back, if you're doing one side clear, then going back, that's fine. Um, uh, if you're doing one side clear and then going into the river, you can sweep the... Uh, the pixel just to make sure there is nothing there um, just to make the um, early parts of the game a lot smoother this is where dubs misclicks and gets crazy here on his laptop in his lap set up but um, you guys did a really good job tonight with your communication um, like far beyond better than we normally do um, but there's still parts of the game where we need to uh, work on about like talking about our cooldowns for um, summoners, items, ultimates, uh, teleports especially because they had two teleports this game. We only we we had two this game as well. Uh, I think the second game is where they had two and we had one if I'm not mistaken. But we just need to talk about those timers. Um, you guys did a good job this game towards the end where you're talking about baiting out science tp which was really good but through the middle parts of the game um you need to talk about that stuff mystic you did a really good job calling out knowing that the the, the jungler was there even though we didn't have vision just the way that they were playing basically so good job calling that out so the whole team knew specifically um alex since you warded right there, that's actually kind of a mistake because you should know that he's on the other side of the map because I do remember Mystic calling it out. You you have more time to um, wait on warding because if all you have to do is ask um, Grant if if he uh, Malzar has a chance to roam. If he doesn't, then you can wait like another 20, 30 seconds because of... Um, Mystic just called out where he was. This is a good one for one trade because they also blew three flashes in it. So it's good first blood. And then trade. So now we know all know where the jungler is again. Bait out a level five Malzahar TP, which is absolute worthless. This is when uh, we should start getting ready to talk about second buffs as well. Alex, you did really good in both games on the Darius. Just uh, the first death you had in that third game uh, was a mistake just because Echo, or I mean, Kindred was just there and you overextended without vision right after he ganked you and you lost your flash. So you guys did a good job about Central talking about actually having... Alex come TP for this, like your guys' communication. This is the kind of stuff we need to be doing, though, ahead of time. We have priority somewhere central. This is perfect. You did a really good job with this tonight, which is something that we've been trying to work towards. So the fact that we had mid-priority already, especially since he has no mana, and we have TP available, this is all day us invading here, especially since you know you have a level advantage. Now we get his buff, we get crab, you get blue buff. Um... So that was a really good job. Those are the kind of things we can look to do a lot um, more often. So another thing just to reiterate too, it didn't happen this game, but you guys did it more so throughout the series. You need to talk about the Herald at 10 minutes. Um, 
yeah, you need to just talk about Harold at 10 minutes no matter what, just so it's a habit. There's going to be games like this one where it would have been perfectly fine if you did not do it. Um, very good gank. And then this is also when we would be talking about to the bottom lane. You just got a kill on him. You could be calling out he does have TP. He TPs up the lane, so they're fine. Um, now we should also be calling out. Um, we could be talking to Grant here about um, just asking about teleport, asking about priority, because we also know this is coming up. So we should know that uh, the blue buff's coming up. So there's a very high likelihood we know exactly where the Zinzao should be. So this is just part of communication. You guys could be just calling out. Second uh, rotation of buffs is up. So you guys should know you have a smaller window to keep continue fighting right now, just because we know the second buffs are up here. You know his TP's down as well. But it's just small parts of conversation that we need to uh, continue on um, growing. You guys almost got the kill there. The, the thing that you guys should do before this gank even happens, though, is this is something that they should be doing as well is this guy should have TP back to lane right away. He should have waited a second because I'm pretty sure the wave. He was fine. Let's just watch. He could have, like right now, he just spawned and you're engaging. He could easily be TPing here. He is alt in like 10 seconds too. So this is this is why you guys need to talk about TPs more. Because he could easily TP here to lose this shitty small wave. To pick up one, maybe two kills. Especially since you guys aren't six yet and they have Sivir alt. Um... This is a mistake by them, and it's a really big mistake by us as well. This is why we need to be communicating, especially when we know that people who have TP are in the base. So Sion just died. So even though he's died, I don't want you guys to automatically feel safe because you need to be asking Alex, and Alex needs to be communicating. Sion has TP. He can still engage on you guys, and you guys are... Um, engaging here as well at level disadvantage so that's just something you guys need to take note of you do fine job trading but just be more aware of, of all those uh, things because he he should have TP'd onto you guys 100% there was the one minion sitting right between mystic and dubs there he should have TP'd on you guys and then had alt And I know you, you still had flash for that trade, but this entire situation is different. Um, so you guys just need to think about that stuff no matter what. I know Simon just died so you feel safe. You still need to ask about TP because now he's in a, in a spot where he can easily TP to you because he doesn't have one some, someone in his face. And he's in a losing lane especially. That's an even bigger point. He's in a losing lane right now where the Alex is up 20 CS and 2 kills. Like he needs to make a TP play somewhere to help the team out because he's just going to get shit on inside of um, inside of lane. So you guys just need to think about that stuff. So now we got second crab um, or third crab. Yeah, third crab coming up top. Harold's coming up. Dragon's up. Red buff's up. So the conversation should start uh, going through about um, central may be going back here and then we could start talking about if bottom lane you're going to go back you two could go straight to Harold together if if that was the play you got like just talking about it because you guys are doing dragon here which is perfectly fine just want the communication to happen ahead of time is all this is this is great what you're doing I'm just always going to remind you guys about talking about Harold at the 10 minute mark because it's very important Is Alex getting the crab? This is really good too, Alex. You um, on red side are starting to do a better job of coming down here when you have lane priority and warding. And you can also do exactly what you're doing right now, especially when central's on the other side of the map. This just helps the team out overall. It's really good job there. It's a small detail, but it's really good. 
So you guys also, every lane, you guys should be talking about back times of yours and theirs. You could be talking about how low the mid laner is, so you, it's easy to invade like um, Central's doing right now because of the mid pressure. This is also when we should be talking about uh, TPs. You guys do a really good job collapsing. And this is when you guys bottom lane, now that you guys see Alistar, should be talking about diving Sivir under turret. You know, she doesn't have flash or heal. Like, you should immediately, after you kill this ward, just dive her. Like, 100%. You have heal, and you're tanky enough that you could you could get out of there. You guys should have dove her there. I'm, uh, I'm fairly certain. Because if she, she's either gonna spell shield the condemn or the alt. Doesn't matter as long as one of them hits, she's dead, and you guys get out. So just remember, jungler shows on one side of the map. You guys are stronger right now. Oh, well, you're two versus one. First of all, you're not stronger one versus one. Vein versus Sivir, even though you'll win a, a one versus one. I'm talking about item wise. I'm I'm looking at, um, but you easily could have made a dive there. So, look to be aggressive when we get uh, information. Jungler shows on the other side of the map. Um, Central's on that side of the map as well. You guys can still make a two v one play. And the biggest part of that is their support showed mid lane, so you guys have a clear window to make a dive there. And this is where we we have non-stop mid priority now and bottom lane you guys can roam easily we have tons of cc this is when you guys should be communicating with central to uh, start advancing the vision onto this side of their jungle so no matter what mid and bottom is always safe from this from this side um, because if they want to go at this point if they want to go top lane and try to do a two-man two versus one alex is strong enough to do that and if from this side they they can't do anything when we have the vision control so this is where we should easily be talking the the four of you about shoving getting uh vision control or shoving both lanes i'm sorry and then working with central to get vision control um you could also be talking about getting this Herald already as well, because you have top and mid priority as well. So it could go either way. It could go, it could go you guys shove bottom and mid, go get the vision over here. You can shove bottom and, or I'm sorry, mid and top, and then get vision here. And then you do Herald, because this is off the map right now. The only uh, mini objective right now is the crab that's coming up. So there's so much that you guys could be talking about right now um, in a vision uh, aspect of the game so i just want you guys to think about that stuff when you're looking at your mini map non-stop thinking about what you can do next um, because there's so many small windows when you can just take s small advantages even if you're just getting vision deep into um their jungle it just takes away especially when we're ahead we're up by 3k already um but just look for that stuff good job you two getting the um the Herald there. I don't remember if you saw um, the Zen on that blue side ward or somewhere else. Let's take a look real fast. So I know they pink a blue over there. I think you guys just have the vision control, so you just decide to do it, which is which is really good, especially since you're you got wave management taken care of up here. So Alex can roam easily. This is non-stop, as you just saw. He solo kills as well. So that was a really good job by you two, just communicating to do that. So we got it at 14 minutes, which is great. Boom. Destroyed. So whenever he solo kills right here too, uh, Central, you could just run mid now that you have Herald and just pop it on this, this turret and take the turret right away too. Because even if Zin shows up, it doesn't matter. He can't stop the turret from diving, for die, dying. So I think your play actually right now, I know you have camps coming up, but you should just run straight mid now because he's dead for 32 seconds and drop Herald. Like it's just we're in complete control of this game, 
So there's just ways that you guys could easily advance our our lead earlier in the game. And this is also communication here as well. If you're going to go, if you're going to counter uh, gank this central, you guys should easily be talking to um, Grant because he has teleport right now. I'll slow this down. So as soon as you should be already calling for this when you see the uh, Zen show, so shows up at, at least, or when you're going back to base, Grant, you should automatically be saying to the team, I have teleport. So it's fresh in their mind. They can call for it right away. So we'll just show. You may not um, see it right away, but as soon as he flashes, basically, you would already be looking. Um, we don't see Zin Zhao yet, but you could easily TP into this fight because we have him right here too. So, and then also, Sentry, when you decide you're going to counter engage, you could also be talking to um, Grant as well because you guys should have already talked about TP because Grant's going in the base. So let's just see. So immediately we see the Zin Zhao now. Your teleport doesn't have to be deep. It could be right here. It doesn't have to be this one, so you're not vulnerable. But you could be right here. And we're going to turn this, this fight around a lot quicker. Because if you TP'd there, you got two of them behind you. And then we get um, Central with his ultimate by the time you land. And we're going to get a three for one at the worst if you TP there. This is where communication needs to grow. And it's everyone's responsibilities, especially when you go back to base on um, what we're looking to do. But it comes into also if we're going to re-engage or counter-engage Central. So you need to just call that out. But Grant would have let you know ahead of time that he had teleport, so then it would have been easier for us to just talk about that. And then again, this is why we need to talk about TP, because they end up getting two kills um, that they potentially didn't need to get. If we would have talked about TP ahead of time, Cyan had TP. We end up getting two turrets off of this, which is great, and we still trade back uh, another kill. Just your communication about teleports needs to grow exponentially because there's so many instances where you'll see the professional levels. As soon as a play starts, you'll see TP from both teams come through, and it just makes a massive difference. At our level, excuse me, at our level of play, there's usually one team that's a little delayed, and the one that's delayed is usually the team that loses. So if we're te teleporting in first and we're getting... Uh, our cooldowns off first. We're going to win the fight, especially when you guys are already this strong. You're up by 5k almost at 17 minutes. You guys are killing it. If you, as you see the the bar at the bottom, you guys are. Uh, it's all blue, and we still have Harold, so we need to be talking about what we can do with Harold too. And their blue buff is up as well. We have tons of um, priority. We could be looking to invade that. But it's perfectly fine if you guys talk about it, but but just decide not to. Excuse me. This is where we drop Harold, I think, in an awkward spot. If you're going to drop Harold, just drop it so you can't get CC'd. And again, like... The, the teleport could have been sooner. We're obviously setting up a play here with Central. Um, so we could be talking about teleport earlier. We have a ward here. That's the only one that's deep. But we could easily be talking to Alex right now, especially since he has no pressure on him at all, about TPing immediately. So as soon as they engage like this, like Alex should be TPing right here. 100%. Or Dubs could drop his ward here and we could TP even closer. But we should 100% be TPing right now. So 18.11 was the mark. And he TP'd at 18.18. Or 18, 18. So it's 7 to 8 seconds behind. So this is where communication and awareness, especially when you're uh, sitting up here with no pressure on you, you guys really need to start using your F keys to look around. Um... But 
regardless you 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 guys made a good uh made you set up a play with vision control you had vision control of the bottom waves so you're perfectly fine tp is the biggest thing for us though that we really need to just continue to grow at getting better because we can make plays a lot quicker and this game is it's in our control a lot um a lot of it is i feel like we really won draft this game and then you guys executed really well um but just our conversation about teleports and those those things can really grow especially vision control and teleport plays um it can we can really get a lot better at this you guys do a really good job of talking like the whole team talking this game about like shot calling um through this part of the game because this is where central does a really good job the first 15 to 20 minutes but this is where he needs help pretty and usually helps out and does a really good job but pretty wasn't here tonight you guys all chipped in you did a really good job sent or mystic this is the most you've ever talked and of course it's because you were trying to impress a girl and i think you succeeded so good job buddy but look at this this is this is what's amazing vision control and then you guys even talk about it at this point um I think it's this play. I'm pretty sure it might be the next Baron where you guys talk about baiting out his his um, TP. I think it's the next one because they have no vision at all because you guys did a really good job. So, but this is the kind of stuff you guys can be doing when you have a lead. It's just getting vision like this. Especially we play a lot of team team fighting compositions and pick compositions, so getting vision like this makes your comps a lot easier at just transitioning so you guys did like your communication and it was phenomenal but we can phenomenal we can still get better at it though and remember anytime that you're going to um like you got vision control over here because we were setting up a baron play it's great anytime you're going to make a play um on like you guys are talking about after baron you're going to make a play basically on mid to bot this is the side you want to war this side you don't care as much about um and same thing goes for sweeping if you're going to make a play on this side you don't want to waste your sweeper like over here because this is the main focus because this is where we're going to pivot back and forth between um so you want to make sure your vision control here is is just incredible and you can also, once this is, like if you sweep this, you can actually drop your pinks in this area um, if you're sieging at this side, just so they have no vision, especially for like Sejuani or Velkaz could be sitting sitting here, raining down on them kind of thing. So just remember, you can always advance your vision um, in different ways. You guys do a really good job of making the macro play here, of rotating to bots and then to mid. So just remember at any time that we're doing this, these kind of things. So in this instance right now, like just this brief moment, we're a little unbalanced. So remember, we want to, for James and Grant, that's uh, new to our squad. Balance means you guys are parallel to each other. So there's not an opportunity. Like right now, Malzahar could TP here. Um, like say they knew you didn't have TP. He could TP here and then they could full engage on us five versus four before you could get there. And it could blow our uh, Baron play just even if they just trade three for three, say. But it's a it's a big deal for them. So remember to stay balanced. But you guys did a good job of uh, controlling the vision ahead of time, so it was harder for them to uh, understand that they could just go uh, try to look for an engage there. So. But this is where you guys don't need to dive or anything. Just literally let uh, Grant just rain down on them with his poke at this point. And if they want to engage on you, then you just win the game because you have Baron. So just remember, in those moments, Mystic, you don't need to engage. Just let our strong players, like, look how strong he is right now. He's 7 and 0. He's crazy strong. I think this is also, I believe you guys get a kill onto Zinzal over here, but the way you path is very dangerous too, because I think three of you ran this way, so you left four of them 
with two people here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we'll see if that's what this ha what this is. I think three of you go that way. So yeah, so from their point of view, they should just say fuck um, Zin Zhao, and Sion should be alting right here. Alistair should be following up. Sivir should be alting. They should just be coming hardcore at, at these two right now because you split. Because um, three of you are going up this side. Where the hell is Dubs? Dubs is all the way up here. So this is this is a mistake. A, you're pathing to, to engage on someone. B, you can just literally let Puppet just keep fucking poking them to death at this turret while we have all the pressure in the world. And then you get, you're get exposing uh, Grant here big time. So look, you're, you're still three of you are over here. These guys are missing out big time right now. This should be literally one, two alts right now. Engage. Malzahar can alt the the Alex just to hold him in place if he tries to come through. Like, you guys are incredibly strong right now. You don't need to force in situations like that. Look, look at the damage Grant just did. And this... this Malzahar's positioning is really poor, but he may have been calling to do what I was just talking about, and these four didn't follow up. You guys really need to, to pay attention to that kind of stuff. Because you can really throw, like, individual moments in a game easily. And that's just him making a poor decision trying to go in there. And you remember, and it, just look at from the reverse side of that. Anytime we have the other enemy team has a Baron, they're supposed to get stuff. So you're just trying to slow them down as much as possible, because it's inevitable that they're going to get things. This is the the time I was talking about dubs. You don't even have QSS yet. You're you're playing frontline, and we should know the cooldown of the Malzalt. We already got the inhibitor. We should just back up. Plain and simple. Just reset. Look at your guys' wave management. It's incredible already. Um, what's your gold like right now? So we have a lot of gold right here with these three. So instead of rotating top, we should just be resetting the spinner gold and not trying stuff like that because we already we already got the inhibitor. Just disengage and, and reset. We have pick of the litter of, of denying one side of their jungle, which is perfectly fine. Um, honestly, at this point in the game, blue's coming up. I'd probably take this side so we can get vision back too. And then... Uh, by the time we deny all this, we can just take Scuttle and then reset. It's probably fine to do blue side too, but we should be... Um, that play where we, two of us died there, we didn't need to have two of us died. Maybe one of us would have died because um, when we're on that um, inhibitor too, like the melee guys, you just stand back at that point too. You don't have to stand up here. Just stand back because our whole... Our whole objective is to get this and then leave because we have an incredible amount of gold to spend at the time. So melee guys there, just let uh, AD carry mid or if top is also uh, top or jungle is is a range range champion. Just chill. I really hope they fix the next patch where you can see like the actual dragon timer and Baron baron timers and stuff up here because it's annoying that i don't know the specific time until the little icon comes up on the on the map but at this point um we know baron i'm pretty sure baron comes up first yeah we killed it at like 21 minutes almost 20 47 something like that so yeah this should be our focus shoving this and this in and getting vision back on this side so baron is our objective Alex has TP, and he can 1 verse 2, if not 1 verse 3 at this point, so he's more than perfectly fine just going bottom like this. Like, look at this. He gets this kill because this Sion has to, he flashes too late, too. So. that Once you get that um, kill to Alex, you just tell the team to chill out because you need to hit that turret. As soon as you go to the turret, they have to rotate, and now there's a numbers advantage on the uh, on the other side. Like perfect. 
but that's what our communication can be is like i'm going to get onto the turret without like contested so exactly now you guys can just rotate to the objective without any um any type of uh uh, wouldn't be challenged at all. So the first time was whenever you guys talked about sign have TP. He didn't have TP. That's why you guys need to t uh, time him though. He didn't have TP for like two minutes still. You guys need to type stuff out. So yeah, dragon's coming up. We get dragon. We can easily go get the open inhibitor with Alex being top lane. He still has TP. And like we just talked about, he easily... Um, can one verse two so he can sit up there this is uh also what i was mentioning with um um the warding the warding video i made this is a, a very common place people ward so it's easy for you to start your sweeper there so then it's easy to find they should be like being creative with their warding like putting it here or something like that just so your your likelihood of killing more than one ward is is lessened because if you put it here they're wasting one or two seconds to get to it on their sweeper time same thing for us so like a ward like this is good because if they start sweeping here same thing they have to walk to it if they're if they're not ranged and good job with um grant as well um shoving the mid wave even though we have supers this is perfect but again we want to make sure that we're we're balanced we're parallel with each other so make sure like someone could already be down here too so see they have to respond with this alex could still be in the uh, top lane just making sure if you're in the top lane right now alex you're going to hold someone in that lane with you so if you're just standing up here behind your wave it's perfectly fine because if they they have to send more than one person to kill you at this point if they do then we just get this for free even if you die and then if you hold them long enough because you're so strong we might even be able to get a nexus turret so you can be showing in the lane but we need to make sure we're balanced so right now we're balanced this is good this is where we need to um, talk about our focus you guys did a good job with uh, TP up further too, buddy, because you're going to create a big wall of separation if you TP just up further, especially when you're this strong. So we'll just we'll go over this part here. Your TP timing was perfect, uh, perfectly fine here, but you should be advancing it a little bit ahead. So when they decide to commit to this, um, as soon as this is channeled, you should be all you should be teleporting right here. Right on this one, because literally these these two players now have to leave. They cannot fight you, and then it just makes this part of the fight easier. So eight twenty eight twenty five. So two seconds behind and the and the wrong spot. Two seconds isn't bad. It's a lot better. Just your location. Remember, like the strength of like when you're this strong, you need to separate their their ranks. So see, as soon as you're TPing in, they're like, fuck. So if you did that right on the front of the line, like that Scion kill's free, then the inhibitor's absolutely free. It's free anyway, but it might get even more out of it, is what I'm referring to. And this is when we should we should absolutely be exiting and going top lane, top lane. Alex has done a good job with the wave management up there. We should not be running across like this. If you're going to run across, you need to run lower because you you give them a whole bunch of free damage here, like a whole bunch of free damage. Now, we should not be re-engaging here either. This should easily be us going up here. You're, you have Scion dead still too. I know you guys want to re-engage because of that, but just go take the, the easiest, the simplest route. Because no matter what, you guys are strong enough. An open inhibitor is easy to get. These turrets are harder to crack. So this would have been an easier grab for you guys. You could have one person still like shove this wave so it crashes on them and then rotate up here. It's perfectly fine. This is where, same thing. We're just overstaying for no reason. Instead of just taking the the simple uh, objectives. 
So just remember, like, I know you guys are really strong, really far ahead, and you know that at this point. Just don't take risky plays that, when you don't have to. Just make the game smooth. Making the game smooth and doing less mistakes doesn't mean that the game... Like I said, certain team compositions is going to take longer to win. Like this one, we have fucking two tanks and a really strong bruiser. But we have... Um, I need to show this to Central. And we have a long range um, mid. So we have a really strong team fighting composition, but it's going to take us longer to like siege stuff. So when we get the opportunity to take turrets, we should take them. So I'm just going to show you it with Sivir. You actually Q forward there too. So, but it was Sivir that did it, not not uh, Mystic. And again, like when we're talking about staying balances from lane to lane, the same thing should be happening whenever we're warding. We don't want to be, we're in their territory. We know they're all alive. We don't. The two of you can ward this far, but not up, not not try to risk something like this. Obviously, that was well, you queued forward, but besides that, the little plant. But you would have queued here at the worst, like queued two here, this area, and you probably still would have died. So remember, same thing being balanced. Like, look, we have Grant down here. These guys are up here. You guys need to just chill out. You can advance your wards to, to like this part of the jungle, like this line. And then just wait for your team to, to group back up with you. And at this point in the game, too, um, Grant, if you want a TP to get back to the team a little earlier, I don't care. And I'm not saying because of this. I'm just talking about in general. If you want a TP here, just so you're there with the team. So you can also, like, shove a wave or something and then rotate. That's perfectly fine. So luckily we have the supers, so we technically still have a fifth member, but we have to be really careful now because we are, if they engage on us on that lane, then we're in trouble. So this should be you guys rotating up top. You guys can also be talking about Dragon and Baron at this point. The crabs are, are spawning in a minute as well. What's our vision? We have three wards and three pinks so we could easily just reset our vision in their jungle set up for baron or the dragon right now too i think this is a uh, infernal or is that the next one i think this is infernal right yeah it's infernal and they have no reason to be contesting this at all either this is the same thing on the flip side you guys have to understand some points in the game you just have to give up objectives especially when you're down in a big lead this is exactly what they're doing uh incorrectly here and you're positioning dubs, so I'm sure it's because you're on that weird setup. But you had like three or four mispositions this game. Just got to let the front line be the front line. Luckily, we're so far ahead. You guys killed the jungler. This is still our, our Baron, which is great. And then you guys reset. Sorry, I didn't mean to pause that. And now our clear objectives... Uh, are going to be the top and the bottom. So the best thing you guys, sh uh, the best thing you should be doing right now, is having Alex go mid, shoving, and then rotating to you guys, or Grant doing the same thing. Grant has TP. Alex is up in like 30 seconds or so. But you want the the wave management uh, for them to answer it. So you get great wave management, and it's sitting here. They're slowly taking it. They have to respond to it. So this makes this easier. This makes this easier. So you easily easily could have just stayed balanced and had um, Alex in the mid lane, Grant in the bottom lane, just shoving the waves for our wave management. Grant can TP to you guys. Alex can rotate to you guys. And then it's just simpler for the next part. I know we end up, they uh, end up fighting us, I believe, and we end the game off of this one. Yeah. And again, also, like, there's nobody in the game that can one versus one Alex or Grant at this stage. So if you guys didn't even have them rotate to you and you ended up doing a 1-1-3 you're going to be able to get that turret most likely because they're going to have to rotate to one of the two lanes more than one person 
because of how strong those two are. So, and again, we need to recognize that Grant is super strong here. He's our longest range champion. Just let him fucking do his thing. And again, melee champion, just let the range guys take care of this shit here too. Talk about your cooldowns. We have two QSSs at this point. You guys also could be waiting right now because you do have the wave management in our favor. This shit's going to fucking crash in, so you could just chill out too. And you don't need to charge onto the Alistar. It's a good hook. This is this is uh, another time where we're completely split on what we're doing. This is why the communication, like Central was over here, our communication needs to be more clear what we're going to do. Because this fight easily, like Grant has to immediately flash out of this. So we get the kill on the Malzahar. And then this is where, luckily, Grant did a good job of flashing early too. Is he just going to do... 6,000 6, fucking points of damage here. You guys are also a lot stronger, but the beginning of that fight was very poor. You can tell you're not communicating it because of where Central goes and where uh, Mystic goes. The, you two should be the most coordinated because you're crowd control. You're the easiest crowd control. So the fact that he's on this side and you're up here, you guys need to be talking more about this See, like, right this. So the communication should be we popped Mouse's uh, shield, and we should be looking to, to engage onto that um, and working around that as a group instead of being split. It's good you recognize that. You made a really nice hook, too. I'm surprised you didn't hit the fucking little thing there, but that was really nice. But just the communication needs to be cleaner. Because if it, this is a closer game, we would most likely lose this uh, fight by being split. There's a good chance we would lose it, I should say. But this is how we win. So, you guys, there are a lot of good things. Communication, we're going to continue to grow on. I'm going to work on that conversation tree. Um, that's our biggest weakness, as well as advancing our vision, especially in games that we're winning. And then if you guys watched that previous um, VOD about creative warding, then also um, if, we're, if we're in a closer game or we're losing or the enemy team has the ad aggression because we're scaling, you need to be creative with how you ward around our jungle too. So good job in the first one. We'll go on to the next.